All right, let's sync these two up for post-production now. Hey, everybody. I'm going to get my hair cut, but might as well a little vlog about it. Uh, I've been messing around in post-production, you know, Final Cut Pro, and, and uh, I think I found something I kind of like, and it's copying, or not copying, but emulating the uh, gamer uh, videos. Um, and by gamer, I mean uh, like Scene Anners and Mr. Sark. I've been watching them for quite a while now, months and months and months. And I'm going to stop here. Months and months and months. And what they do is they have a webcam or first person, not first person, but they have a, a camera in their face basically when they, when, they, uh, when they game and everything and they do their live streams and, and whatnot. And it's up in the corner, top corner, whatever corner they feel like putting it in for that for that type of game. Because you know, if you put it in some other corners, it it blocks the UI for the viewers. But I've been watching their YouTube videos, and then, and about half the time, I am watching uh, their face because their facial expressions are really funny, and and uh, the gameplay is fun too. But I don't play any of those games, and I hardly ever play any games. I just find it entertaining, but. Their facial expressions are really cool and really funny and, and kind of bring a huge element to that type of uh, video. I'm thinking about bringing it to motovlogging, you know. I, I haven't seen any motovloggers do that. Um, I've seen a few motovloggers have multiple cameras, and I like to call this the interview camera. You know, the GoPro Hero 2 that I have right here. But from what I've been seeing is they just do quick cuts to it, you know. Cut to my face, cut to the camera, cut to my face cut to the camera and that's all I've seen and I I, I kind of want to bring the other one now the reason why I'm uh, this is a this is a test mode of vlogging and the reason why I'm doing this is I want to get your input you know it, does this does it look okay I mean I could have it I think in post-production I'm gonna have it right here you know right where my right hand is brake throttle everything um, I could also have it up here you know I can have it over here and over here. It doesn't matter. I think I am going to have it about right here. Now, a big thing is when I was watching some footage, I, I put two and two together before I even made this, before I started talking about it, um, is this GoPro Hero 2 is kind of taken away from the aesthetics of the bike during the actual motovlog. And do you guys mind? I mean, do you think it'd be a bad idea to... What's up, fire truck? be a bad idea to have the Hero 2 right there and it's kind of blocking some of the view it's taking up some real estate on the screen do you think that's a bad idea I don't know I just think it's kind of cool um, obviously you're not gonna see my face because I have my smoke shield on but the days that I have my clear shield maybe you can see me but do you guys really want to see my face I mean it just makes me have to be animate more uh, during my rides, you know, it's, if I have this, because it'd be kind of boring and, and kind of detract from the actual motovlog if this thing's always on and it's always in the corner and I'm just sitting here like I am right now. I mean, I could be just sitting back, I could do some stupid stuff if you guys really want. I don't know. What do you guys think? Tell me what you guys think. I really want to know. Just a little off the top, okay?